Hi, I'm Nadine Bata, and on behalf of Tomorrow's Technician and Continental Belts and Hose, I'd like to introduce our February 2022 Student of the Month. Ethan Gallantine is a senior at Sebastian River High School in Sebastian, Florida. While wrapping up his senior year, Ethan is getting a taste of the workforce working as a loop technician at a local Honda dealership. Ethan is credited for his passion for working on cars and his get it done attitude. Welcome to Ethan Gallantine. Ethan, what first inspired you to take automotive classes? Well, I used to have this friend group that they enjoyed purchasing old and beat up cars and they like to fix them up and sometimes modify them and basically make them like new. Like they had just purchased it from the dealership, like maybe a few weeks ago, something like that. But they always like to take me on their drives and it was just an amazing experience. And I absolutely loved going on the drives and it just showed me how much I really liked going over to working on cars, talking about them, driving them, all that kind of thing. I loved it. That's awesome. How challenging has it been to get a taste of the workforce while in your senior year? Well, I actually was pretty surprised about that. It was actually relatively simple and easy. I was able to just kind of walk in, use Mr. Roo's influence and my previous run-ins because we actually went to that. We go to that dealership for service as well. And so I had already previously talked to my boss before we were even talking about employment. So it was relatively easy. I could just walk in and I didn't even have to do an interview. I was, he just offered me a job right there on the spot. And it has been an amazing experience ever since then. Fantastic. What has it been like preparing for your ASC entry level certifications? How do you plan to pass all nine tests by the end of the school year? Well, preparing for those tests has been a little bit difficult, I will admit, because a lot of it is on the computer, all that kind of thing. It's on coursework, through coursework, coursework online. And through coursework online for someone who's pretty hands-on isn't exactly the most ideal thing, but really all I need to pass these certifications is time. That's how I plan to move on. And once I have all the time to pass all in nine certs, I believe I have four or five right now. And I just need the remaining time to, to just to pass these last four or five. Do you have a favorite project that you've worked on or are working on that you'd like to share? I don't think I have any projects currently that I'm working on, but I would like to continue that tradition that my that old friend group that I had mentioned before, they like to restore cars, buy them, restore them and modify them. I would like to just buy older cars. I would like to restore them back to normal and maybe even sell them off again and continue that. Or maybe I'll keep them and have like a collection of old cars, sort of like the, you know, the classic, like restoring old classic cars, that kind of thing. That really interests me and I would like to do something like that. That's awesome. And finally, Ethan, what are your plans for the future? My plans for the future are to continue what I'm doing now working as, um, not working as a loop tech, but gaining experience in this workforce. It's, it's I, w I plan to become a diagnostician. I want to become a diagnostician. The people will bring their problem cars to me. I'll be able to tell them what's wrong just by looking at it. I won't have to do all this uh, other, like maybe I'll drive it or something like that. But really, I just want to be a diagnostician Pat, and Learning it from this dealership is probably the best option I have because everyone there is very knowledgeable. They're extremely nice. There's no one there that's kind of like, you know, stay away from me, that kind of thing. Ethan's instructor, Garrett Rue, says. So the reason I chose Ethan is because he, he gets so excited just about the mundane, mundanest of vehicles. Like literally I've, I've had him get excited over a Honda Accord coming in the shop and, and really just automobiles in general. I haven't had something that I've given Ethan that he wasn't excited to do. And it could be anything from an oil change to tearing apart an engine to anything. So, um, and he's always ready to learn and, and just like, he told you that he literally has been seeking out this job at Honda for multiple years now. And, um, and he's doing fantastic. And when I went to talk to his, um, his employer, he says, I, 
I always can entrust Ethan with anything. Like, yeah, he's made a few mistakes here and there, but like he's always willing to learn from those mistakes and that you can't teach that. Like it's a one. So. Ethan, once again, on behalf of Tomorrow's Technician and Continental, congratulations on being named Student of the Month and good luck with everything moving forward. Instructors, if you have the next Student of the Month in your classroom, please nominate him or her today. Just go to tomorrowstechnician.com to find the entry form. I'm Nadine Vita, and I'll talk to you again soon.